I know, a seven-point mask. Uh, how weird is that? But I tried making an eight-point mask, and due to some feature in Final Cut Pro 10, uh, only seven control points seem to be allowed on the screen at one time. So I scaled it back by one. But I don't think it's really going to hurt too much. There's still plenty you can do, and you can add multiple masks to create what you need to do. You know, for example, let's take a look at these. I added a B-spline feature. Bezier doesn't really do the curves too well, mainly because when the shape is created, uh, it's, the points are linear, and there's no way to really export the control points into Final Cut that I have found so far. But B-splines are pretty cool. I'm going to uh, show you that real quick on this clip. Right now, this is just called eight point. Now, it's going to be packaged up as seven point mask. All right, drop this on here. And here is seven points. They're arranged around the rectangle except for the bottom center. So basically, it makes it easy to pull these in to a roundish mask. Probably not the best clip to try and use. Let's go to something bright. Right there, there's a shark. All right. Um, when I click on Use B Spline Shape, these round in. And you can see that you kind of have to it's like bending metal. You kind of have to inf uh, exert a force on the line to create a curve region. Now let's do something like that. You can invert this mask and you can feather it in and out and control the amount of feather with the fall off. You can drag on the number up and down to go past the default range of feathering. I'll just go ahead and reset this. And you can add multiple masks, so I'll put on another one. And it's going to come in under the first one that we've got. And you can see that it's going to add to the mass that's already on there by removing what's outside of the mask here. And to control what's inside the mask, you need to invert this one. So let me get this lined up first. <clears throat> I can be spine this. I can invert it. And do different kinds of things with different shapes. So here's something for you to play with. Uh, you can't keyframe these. Uh, if you're going to do uh, a mask that's going to move with your video, you're going to have to slice your video up into subclips and move the control points at each clip start. Anyway, so here's my original scene for this first clip with the Mardi Gras mask. That was my first mask. You can see the control points. I pull this up, pull these down, and move these out. Added a second mask, created the top, 
on the third mask. Here I pulled in the indents on the sides and I only inverted one of these and I added a little bit of feather to these to help smooth them out to pick up some edge overlaps on the mask here to smooth them out. Anyway, if Apple fixes this to where I can add more control points, I, I'll put out a real 8 point mask. When I figure out how to rig some kind of way to keyframe this, if ever, I'll try to get one of those out too, because I would really like to have a mask that uh, can be keyframed through the motion. I uh, hope you find this one useful, and thank you very much. Catch you on the next one.